I barely go like 15 miles an hour and fucking crash. You will learn chests. You would know about crashing, wouldn't you, Necro? Of course. I crash occasionally. Things are really heating up at on the rag. Shout out to the couple that Necro bled in the back of their car. That that was a real thing that happened. For context, um, I was riding down uh, down the street with my uh, my standing scooter, and the standing scooter can get up to like around like eh, 55 or so, and I was fucking blazing through the rain like an idiot, and I hit a pothole, flew almost like 50 feet forward and downhill at the same time, bouncing off the pavement. Luckily, I was wearing a helmet, or else I would have perished. But, um... You would have pulled on my uncle. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, bounced off the road, fucked my helmet, fucked all my hands, I was bleeding everywhere, I was on the ground, I didn't want to move at first. And then this, this, this couple it's on their first date... not to. Yeah. This couple that was on their first date pulled over when they saw the accident. They stopped, they, like, wanted to go check my body... And see if I was awake, and I, I, to my surprise, I wasn't expect to, I was just kind of staring up at the rain, just kind of like, fuck, I'm in this situation again. I was like, I'm fine, I just hope my scooter is fine, and like, because I didn't care about myself, so I'm gonna get back up, I'll heal, I'll be fine. Um, I'll just fucking pop all my limbs and everything back into place, but like, I, uh, decided to just, like, get up, and I was like, oh shit, fuck, right. <laughs> this isn't normal for them. They seem to be just bleeding out on the fucking sidewalk or on the the like the side of the road. And uh, this is in Los Angeles, by the way. So it's very surprised that anyone stopped because no one really stops to begin with. And um, I got up. I was like, "Hey, I'm fine. I'm okay." As I like like rub all the blood off my face and my hands, and I'm still profusely bleeding. And, uh, they're like, oh, are you, you okay? You need anything? And I looked at my scooter and, like, all the wirings just ripped the fuck off. I was like, there's, I can't start it. I was like, shit. So I, um, decided to ask, I was like, hey, is there anything, is there any way you can give me a ride? I need to go to the location, um, like, a little up the road, probably about tops, mile and a half. Can you take me there? Like, yeah, no problem. And as I, I was in the back, soaking in the back, and just, like, just still, I didn't realize how much the blood it was, because apparently my leg was bleeding, and everything else, like, my sides were bleeding, my shoulder was bleeding, my hands were bleeding, everything was bleeding. And, um, I was having a conversation with, like, yeah, we're on our first date, you know, it'd be look bad if, it'd be look, it'd be, the guy was, like, straightforward, he's like, yeah, it would literally look bad if I saw, we both saw you, you know, get into an accident and then not help you. And so, so the guy was like straightforward, like, yeah, I wanted brownie points. That's why I pulled over to help you. He was like, <laughs> I was like, are you fucking serious? I didn't say that, but I was like, like I was like, really? It's, it's interesting? I was like, thanks. I guess. <laughs> because the guy, I kinda, he's kind of like straightforward. like, yeah, I kind of want to impress my date that, you know, I'm a good guy and everything. So I pulled over to check up on you and everything. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, buddy. So if you weren't, your date was in the car, you wouldn't have helped me. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you know, like, and I started talking to him. I was like, yeah, you guys seem like you guys are a uh, okay couple. Sorry for ruining your first date. He's like, nah, if anything, it was, this is a story to tell my coworkers and that she's all the time saying, like, yeah, it's, you know, it's very nice to do that and this is honestly a good story. You know, he goes, this is how I met this guy. We, uh, you know, he picked me up from the date, and then immediately we witnessed an accident, and some guy just almost basically died and everything. Anyways, uh, cut the story to, like, towards the end. Uh, we get out, and as I was getting out of the car, I noticed all over his nice, like, uh, tan leather fucking seat and everything like that, just blood all over his back seat and all over in the in the bottom and everything. And I felt so fucking bad. I was like, fuck, dude, I'm so sorry. There was blood all over his backseat. 
If you guys ever seen Reservoir Dogs, it looked like the scene from Reservoir Dogs when Mr. Pink was bleeding out in the fucking backseat. It looked so bad. And um, I tossed him like I tossed him like it was like a hundred some box. I was like, Please, get. I'm so sorry. Like get a car wash, get your your leather interior and shit fixed, man. I'm so sorry. And he's like, no problem. You know, I I I understand. Like I was just trying to help you out. And then immediately I got into my my uh, my job like immediately after. My uh, my coworker was like, "Yeah, why are you late? This, that, and the other." I was like, "I was just in an accident, and I was bleeding out on the side of the road." Luckily, some couple decided to help me, and it's like, "Yeah, well, that doesn't fucking matter, you piece of shit." Blah blah blah. I was like, I showed him the blood of my hand. I'm just covered in blood from head to toe, and he's like, "Nah, blah blah blah." And I'm like, "He's like, you're lucky. You, you, we need you on this job." Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Motherfucker!" I'm like, "I almost just died. Fuck you, dude." And it's like, and then. I had to report it in because apparently he didn't report it when I originally... You know, so I called him in the car before and let him know what happened. And, like, he didn't believe me until I showed up. And then even when I showed up, he still didn't fucking care. And then he did also didn't report it. He was supposed to report that I was in an accident. He never reported it to his superiors. So I had to report it, and he got in, like, serious fucking trouble because... Trouble. You know, I told him, like, hey, I was in this accident. This is what happened. He didn't report it. That's on him. And, uh, yeah, uh, they were supposed to actually release me to go to the hospital and get checked up and said they made me work instead. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was not a, it was not a good night. I, I had to call like, uh, another fucking one of my other guys at the carpool back to my house and get my shit fixed on the next day, but, Man, like, yeah, I was fucked up. literally just playing Sea of Thieves when you popped into a call with us and went, guys, I'm profusely bleeding. Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I was like, guys, I, I, I can't get myself to stop bleeding. <laughs> I'm, like, bandaging myself up, because, like, I couldn't, I tried going to the hospital, too, and, like, they were all filled up at that time where they were, they weren't taking any patients or anything so i couldn't go to the hospital and uh because i already tried and they were so filled up i saw so i was like fuck it, i'm just gonna leave because I, I live like a like a few blocks down from the hospital at the time and uh i just went back to my house and patched myself up uh you know peroxide alcohol and bandages and everything and i was i was really messed my helmet was all scarred up I, and then i posted it like my helmet and everything like that with the Raycons, my Raycons, I was wearing Raycons at the times, and the guy just, just completely bashed off the ground and just skidded. And the Raycon still worked. And the, the helmet got messed up. But anyways, I posted it, and immediately, like, less than an hour later, a buddy of mine s sent me an art of this fucking event. Of, like, he decided to draw. He's like, <laughs> it's like, I, I headbutted the earth and I won kind of thing. It was just, like, neck are all fucked up. And but then yeah, Raycon just... also sends you new yeah, earbuds Raycon... because their quota is supposed to be where their earbuds aren't supposed to get destroyed and yours got absolutely mutilated. Yeah, I got new Raycons from that too, yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was kind of cool. But anyways. So you may have had a fucked experience, but you got some cool shit at the end of it. Like, sorry you got absolutely fucked, but... But, here's some new earbuds. Yeah, and fucking got someone to have brownie points on their first date, bled in some dude's car, and got artwork of yourself. Yeah, I got... Yeah, bled in some dude's car. I, I lost a hundred and something bucks, and, uh, and then I had to make the car pull back. And I got art out of it, though. It's a good story to tell, but, you know, I'll just fucking die. I had to literally push in. I had to, like, reposition my shoulder. I had to fucking... Cause I dislocated my shoulder and tons of bruising, just all scuffed up. It was it was bad. I came into work the next day, just gauze wrapping half my body. They're like, Necro, what the fuck? And I'm like, listen, blame him. He made me come in. But that's a little taste of necro lore, <laughs> like actual IRL necro. That's why it's me. Like I don't, I don't care if I get hurt. I will 
I will repair every time. I it's not a problem. I've been shot, I've been stabbed, I've been blown up, I've been thrown out of cars, been hit by cars, and thrown off buildings. I've been like have extremely traumatic things where I've broken almost every bone in my body. And like I'm still I'm I'm gonna heal from the injury. It just sucks repairing from the injury because it takes a little bit. It's like Wolverine, it's like slower Wolverine bullshit. And then uh I have to just, you know. Fucking, I just hope my shit's not broken, because that's the hardest part. Hydrate, I can do that. It again. It's not the actual event of you, someone getting hurt that sucks, it's the recovery of it, because it exhausts your body so much. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Your body has to work extra hard. Mm-hmm.